I'm thinking a coconut can fall on top of me. Hopefully not. <laughs> I'll be knocked out for a while here. Hey you, welcome to my canal. My name is Anna and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about words we use here in Puerto Rico. These are words that even when I use them, they sound strange to me. So these might be words that are actually invented here. <laughs> and some are in the dictionary, but they have a meaning and we totally use a different meaning. So these are words that even Spanish speaking countries, other Spanish speaking countries might not even understand us. So some are invented, some are actual words, but they all sound strange to me. So this is just my opinion. So this is all in good fun. So if you want to know what these words are, keep on watching. So let's get to the first word. Actually, this word is the one that inspired this whole video because I saw it on a billboard. And when I saw it, I was like, you know, the light bulb turned on. I'm like, huh, words, these kind of words. Like, oh, that's a good idea. So the first word is detto. Detto is that thing or the thing. So if you say, give me that thing, or give me the thing, you say, dame el desto. <laughs> it sounds very weird, but yeah, it's our word. So the second word is very similar to the first word when you are referring to a thing. So this is another word. I guess we don't like naming things by their name. We just say that thing. <laughs> so the word, actually the words are coso o cosiata. Dame la cosiata esa. Coge el coso. I think that word comes from cosa, an actual word. And so we just keep building words on top of words. Cosa, cosiata, coso. Look at the view behind me. I'm in Piñones, Loiza. Next word, I'm sure you have heard of it on 4th of July or New Year's Eve. The word is siquitraque. Siquitraques are explosives, like fireworks. Tra, tra, tra. Siquitraque. The next one is actually a word, but we changed the meaning. The word is tenderete. I'm sure you have heard of it, but we changed the meaning completely. So tenderete means in the dictionary, a market stall, like a kiosco, a kiosk, a booth. But I have never heard of it with that meaning. But tenderete used as you got me up to here. Yes, I have heard of it. I have used it. Me tiene hasta el tenderete. Like you got me up to here. Like I can't take it anymore. The following word is gulembo. Sounds like limbo. <laughs> gulembo means a person that is weak, tired, low energy, or no energy. Like you're feeling gulembo. Another word that we describe when we have had enough. Another one is harta. Me tienes harta. Harta, I believe, comes from the word harta. Harta is like when you're full, like you ate, you are full, but we turn it into a J, harta. So you could say estoy harta, estoy harto, a food, but also when you're not tolerant anymore, me tiene harta. Like I can't take it anymore. He has me up to here. Coming up is menjurje. Menjurje is like a mixed, disorganized, mess, tangled, complicated menjurje. And I think that's actually a word that means like mix or mixing, when you mix something. But I actually say menjurje. I put ends on it. Menjurje. So it's an invented word on top of another invented word. But everybody says menjurje. But I have heard say menjunje because I don't think I actually invented menjunje. But anyway, the word here is menjurje. The next one is an actual word, but we use it with a different meaning. The word is paquetero. So paquetero is somebody that handles packages, paquetes, right? Paquetero with paquetes. But we say paquetero for those that lie, liars, compulsive liars. That is actually one of my favorite words. I use that one a lot because there are a lot of liars. I actually say, you work for UPS. Tu eres un paquetero. The word I'm about to tell you is completely invented, to tell you the truth. The word is rochao or rocha because I'm a girl. Estoy bien rocha. Rochao or rocha is a negative feeling. It's Sadness, depression, traumatized. So if your boyfriend left you, estoy bien rocha. Estoy bien rocha if you're a guy. Estoy bien rocha. If you are enjoying this kind of video that has to do with words in Puerto Rico, you might want to check out this video right here. Very similar to this one. Those are about anglicisms here. And I hope you enjoyed the scenery here, my background. I couldn't use a lot of the ocean background because of the lighting, the direct sun and stuff like that. 
but you know I used the most of it and that is it for today give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in my next one bye hopefully I don't know there goes an airplane per usual every time I'm filming always an airplane or a helicopter so tenderete means market or a booth like a market stall I keep hearing things I hope an iguana doesn't fall on me and you know the light bulb bulb because I saw this word ouch I bit my tongue they might learn these they might video I'm gonna be talking about that might have a different meaning and we just use them with a different meaning